G'day guys, Cass here, and today we are going to be playing Verge Lost Chapter. Another game by GD Nomad, the creator of so many other well-known horror games on the channel. As always, let's start by reading the Steam store description. Our hero has decided to get away from the urban bustle and out into nature to relax. On his way to his cabin, while anticipating the amazing sunsets, fresh air, the tranquility of the mountains, a heavy rain began to fall. His car breaks down in the middle of nowhere, a cold torrential rain dashing any hope of getting the car moving again. He hadn't seen another person in hours, and as far as he could recall, there was nothing around. But for an abandoned building, he approaches it, seeking shelter. But is it really abandoned? Beaches, multiple endings, high quality graphics, tense atmosphere of fear. No cheap jump scares, high quality audio support, simple but enjoyable gameplay. Well, after reading that, I'm excited. Hope you guys are too. Let's, uh, about WSD, mouse for visibility. Hmm. Let's, uh, not waste any more time. Version 69.6. Nice. Nice. Let me know one of those games. From the last few games of GD Nomad that I'd play, I'd say around maybe 15 minutes in total has hit the cutting room floor of just pure loading screens where I've had to cut the game crashing and reloading. So let's hope I can avoid adding more to that total. What is Verge? Verge is when a simple trip can turn into chaos, when any moment can end in death for all. Sometimes even a small child can be a killer. Right. What is this typeface? The L's look horrific. I was put in a clinic for the mentally ill. Dead Creek. Mentally ill called Dead Creek. Mm-hmm. Rehabilitation lasted nine years before I was unceremoniously released. It's been ten years since then, and I've adjusted well. Dash. I've become a normal person like everyone else. One day I was heading to my cabin in the mountains, but during the trip the car broke down. I was hoping a pass passing motorist would notice me, but it was getting dark and the rain showed no signs of letting up. I needed to find shelter. I wouldn't be safe to stay in the car all night. But it wouldn't be safe to stay in the car all night. The translation job seems slightly better. Nice change. Yep. Can I... Yep. Hello? Nope. Just wait for the text to scroll up. I've already read the title about 30 times, so we don't need to do it again. Hmm. Interesting rain effect. Let's see my car. Wow. Now that's a rover. Well, can't go this way. Is that thing even on the ground? Oh, it's certainly floating. Okay. Just pulled up my dual cab ute. Uh, interesting little fishing spot I've got. I think, can I go down this road? You know what, let, let's just stick to the... That's jumping. Bonk. Bonk. Okay. That doesn't look right. Hello again, crows. Meet me at my autumn house. Hee <laughs> hee. Church in the middle of the nowhere, this is going great, mate. You know, for the rain being uh, non stop and obscuring vision, slash, it being cold and dark, it's an awfully nice sunset. Wolves. Radio. I hate it when wolves are just roaming the countryside waiting for you to pull up in your sick as hell ute. I hope there's not anyone there. Why not? If there was somebody here, it'd be a bit safer, wouldn't you? I need to stop staring at the uh, special effects question mark so much. What is going on with her legs? Okay, I'm I'm just gonna test. What happens if I press escape? Okay. Okay. No save option. 
Can I? Thank you. Fading and, and losing, fading out, I should say, and losing all the FPS while we do it. I guess we just wait for all mate to load for a while. Madness is seemingly abandoned building. Well, it can't be abandoned because all those boxes just fell over, mate. I thought this was a church. Oh. I mean, flashlight is one hell of a fish. I can kick the box. <laughs> Too much work. Keep walking. I mean, at least I can sprint somewhat. That's... and fade out again. Wow, that was a good hallway. More gameplay segments like that, please. Hope you've all been having a good day, by the way. Right now I'm powered by coffee and a... Uh, will to live. So, let's hope I can get through this. And so you can too. It's Meant to be entertainment, we're all enjoying ourselves here, aren't we? Mr. Rock, question mark. Bad in the middle of nowhere, can't use it, cool. This is a choice, okay, let's just go forwards, why not? Oh my. I didn't realise multiple choice would be various fade out hallways. As I walked into the building, something hit me over the head. Autumn dream. Coming back to me. After a while, I woke up in a strange place. It was like that clinic I'd stayed in for so many years. As in it was. So, Dead Creek isn't where we are. Just for those of you keeping up with the intense lore. We aren't at Dead Creek. We came from Dead Creek. We used to be at Dead Creek. So, Dead Creek, random asylum. This asylum, completely different. But everything looked different. It felt like I was back there again. Oh, we're back. More lighting on the wall. It's like getting into a pair of ill-fitting pants. Oh god, what's this? Oh, well, at least we've got Jesus in our lives. This guy loves the Christianity symbolism. Religion everywhere. Project New Day. Security was breached and four individuals entered the zero level. Dun, dun, dun. Their plan, which seemed to be to steal documents related to the project, failed. A guard killed three people, though one entered the containment unit and freed Subject 696. So you're telling me that subject 69.6 is running about the halls and you just want me to walk out there? That's the lunchroom. We could only watch as 696 moved passing through the security room, moving to the upper levels. Why could we only watch if a guard killed three people? We might be overkilled. No cheap jump scares. Ooh. Ooh. Hello there, friend. No cheap. It's locked. Great. Oh well. Or us. Don't get to experience the cabinet that just had everything dropped inside of it. Oh, chest. Loot. Okay. Wasting my time. Do I even bother looking for a key in the shelves? Is it just going to be in one of those chests? Where's the light coming from? Not that I'm complaining, but where's the light fixture? What? The lying techniques just get better and better. You know, for a decayed corpse, you have remarkably well kept feet. We sent men to distract the subject. They were able to lead it to the third level. We can't read it when the flashlight's on it. While we moved to recover. Our, our cameras and documents, they are, oh, while well, we move to recover our cameras and documents, why is that on its own line? They are of absolute importance to our research. Not absolute importance. What about minor importance? No cheap jump scares. The sounds are just naturally occurring. 
It's almost like you're really in the asylum. You are Batman. What it really feels to be Batman. I'm gonna attempt to decode what you're saying. Oh, that's just chucked in the bed frame. Okay. Hey, this already. As expected, a new subject was killed by a sam a new sample. We can't replicate 696's success. Currently, we hold over 100 people. Fodder for the all-important subject 696. Radio, are you going to tell me what good old 696 can do, or... Oh, I've wasted looting these chests. Oh, we found the key. Due to a system failure, we have to suspend the project. 89, 85%? That percent sign is in the worst possible spot. Of the building has been lost. Our plans include the construction of a new complex near the clinic. Dead Creek. Oh, no. Are we subject 696? Oh, that's too smart of a twist. Completely useless room. Alrighty then. Those are meant to be garbage bags, I guess. I'm not even bothering with that one. The moment that a jump scare actually happens, I feel like the coffee in my veins is going to pump straight to my heart and make me jump out of my chair. Spooks. Wait a minute. So after running through the impromptu disco that is these hallways, we've made it all the way back to the ketchup room. We have opened the Maybe it's the meat locker. Your hurt. Corpse is going to teleport away before I get there, isn't it? Yeah, well, there can't be an actual corpse in this game. Right. Project New Day was successful despite heavy losses. Dead Creek was successfully met. Dead Creek has successfully met all our expectations. Can't need today. We're currently observing the patient from the old church. Our goal is to delve into the mind of Subject 696 and understand him. Thank you. No! Oh, oh my worst hose. It's all coming back to me now. Okay, how do I... Ow. Please don't tell me I'm dead. Does my health slowly reach in? Okay. Can I just walk this off, please? Basic siren. Oh, okay, you're not letting me through the door. Little bit worrying. Yep. Yep. Just gonna chill out there. Oh, no. Hello. You know what, mate? This is starting to get a little bit irritating. Uh, how do I juke past a door that is magically locked? Can you just stop chilling at random, mate? At least pretend like it is spooky in here. In the atmosphere. Come on. Can I run through that? No, we can't. We can't. We can't. Backing up. It's like a snake, you've just got to give it a little bit of space, respect its boundaries. And then run past it when it can't possibly do anything about it because it attacks so slowly. Okay, let me out. Let me through. It works now. Oh, just no. The doors don't open properly. This is hell. Holy, we've made it, boys. All the way to the seventh layer of... Why is she, like... A one-to-one -one photo. Her model is so strangely detailed and like... Oh. Oh my god. Do I have to survive in a room with her for a while? Don't we? Wait a minute. If there's one there... We've done it. We've successfully... Unraveled the Da Vinci Code. Reality is collapsing upon itself. Nice jeans, by the way. I was just talking about ill-fitting pants, and then you come sauntering along and whatever the heck those are meant to be. 
Just let me through. Why does it work now? Oh, God, there's another jump scare, isn't there? Well. No, sir. So it can only hit me specifically when it... No. I really don't. And I've just about had it with that. Always wanted to play a survival room. Like a point and click horror game, except... Oh. Why is it trying to attack me from that far away? So I'm no good at ab living when I'm under this much pressure. I feel like I'm meeting my celebrity all over again. Oh my. Just let me through. Why did it work now? What is going on? These doors work 5% of the time. There's got to be something going on. Okay. Come on. Oh, so I can just spare me. Yep. Do I open slow as possible that time? Well, this is fun. A siren yelling at me, the door refusing to let me past. Can I go under it? When you get enough speed. Big money, no whammies. Is there a control section? Sound. Let's just... Okay. Graphics. Main menu. We don't want to press that. Can you work with me? Please. I'm not about to run all this way back to experience this again. I'm gonna go do the unthinkable. Buddy, hello. Thank you. Maybe it works after to take damage. Maybe if I show that one. What? What kind of rule is that? Okay, we're going all the way back. Now all the way forward. Still doesn't work. Okay, so we hit the button enough times. And we just juke. Nope. And the alarm's still going off. But we're back here. And the door's open. And my immersion is completely ruined. And I'm suddenly playing Boo Haunted House. Excuse me. Hello. Yep. Excuse me, I need to get through that. <sighs> You've really outdone yourself, GD Nomad. What? Now we're haunted. Now we've got the spook factor going. And this is still jammed. Okay. Look, if hit... Where are you going? Am I... Maybe I am the ghost. What are you... That's a... Why was one I... Oh... Oh, we've taken damage. We've hit reality. Fading out. Whoa! That was... That was so immersive. I felt like I was the protagonist. Well, why did she slide along the floor? Please don't tell me that's the end. I got out of the chambers somehow. Yeah, they were a massive threat, mate. I'm not sure how we did it. I've finally escaped that thing that had been chasing me. The front, in front of me, even more insanity. Yep, the rest of you know. I had to make a choice between good and evil. Where? When? Wait, am I doing that now? Is the game not over? Hallelujah. Do you think it's torturous for you guys to sit through that? I have to sit through it. I'm editing this stuff for you guys. I need a medal for doing something that I choose to do with my own spare time. Oh, yeah.
Okay. Hee hee ho ho. What? Subject 696 is highly unstable. He continues to grow now, seemingly exponentially, and his power, as his power grows, so loosens our control over him. I've implored the company to allow us to cease operations, but he claims the risk is acceptable. Good or evil? Is that the model or come closer? Do you like my pretty face? Subject 696 has escaped again. The overall death toll has reached 696. <laughs> He's loving the joke too. This place must be quarantined, isolated, the subject is lost. And what's the other option? Do we get some... Hey Bozo. What's up? Audio. These are some dramatic doors. More Bozo clown. You know what? I'll buy it, GD. What's up? Going away. I just picked up the key. Going. Oh. Cough. He wasn't in charge though. Oh, they're still not angry at me. Choose your end. Hello. Last chance to find out. Find out what? Sure. Can I go to the other door? Sure, let, let's just sit in the air with strap. Hey, Bozo, what's up? Wait out. Magic. Did you know that game loads means no more iconic duo? Wait, are we back here? And why is my FPS so good all of a sudden? And why is there children? A children, a child. Oh. Okay, buddy. Just, just stop. These intense and not at all played out jump scares. That door opens. Nothing that way. It's her. The do you like my pretty face girl? And the infinite crying. With white text on a black screen. <laughs> After the ordeal, I thought I'd escaped. But these hideous creatures... I couldn't get out. <laughs> so what was the point of choosing that ending? They had me trapped. A lot of windows we passed by. I couldn't get out. Okay. We covered that topic. We understand your lack of being able to escape the facility. Well, what's the game plan, buddy? I mean, we're leaving behind a lot of monsters with self-esteem issues, so... Maybe it's worth it. Maybe death won't be that bad. What's the seventh layer of hell gonna look like? It's gonna look like that. That's what it's gonna look like. That was the end. But was it the true ending? Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling like some juicy, uh, Verge Lost Chapter All Endings viewers. So. I'll see you guys in like two seconds for you. Well, so let's just see what's at the end of Dead End Road over here for the sake of it. Need to find another way. Great. Well, I'm gonna find another way, boys. Hang on, this is different. CMS Project 12. The project... I, I just went through the left side on that three-way selection and... Uh, the subject... The goal to create a serum that would disturb the nervous system and in, induce madness or... Sound like somebody been playing the piano, man. A whale isn't this a lovely place. All containers must be stored in a specialized containment facility for further use in the project new day. Oh, I really don't need more. Or why do I feel like this isn't going to be any different? 
Each container is designed to hold six people and to be introduced in CMS 12. Children will be used to grow to observe the effects by way of the processing plant and replace liquid CMS 12. Lovely. When all else fails, just use the kids. And more loading screen. Favorite screen in the game. I think it really crashed. Oh! It heard me. Okay, CMS 12. This away. Getting a lot of a uh, disorgan getting a little bit of a disorganized feeling from this one. Uh, stick to the right hand side, I guess. Is this just an infinite loop? I feel like the maze probably shouldn't be this big, but you know, the only way to improve upon a perfection is to. Put a maze in your game. Nothing's more fun than a maze. Especially when there's no immersion and it's just you running around like a headless truck for ages. That's nothing. For nothing. So how many people did they have uh, mysteriously disappear again? There's six people per container. Then, uh, can we put more than six kids inside a container? Now we're thinking with our hard hats on. Torch is doing it's nothing. Okay, interesting, mate. Play that immersion. Now we've got a scope of the grand plan. They were shipping literally a town's worth of people recently. Gotta test it out. 696 times, I guess. Okay, as I walked into the building, something hit. Oh, we're back on. Keep. Door. Spook. Door. Door. All the doors are working this time, hmm. Maybe all my whinging did something. Door. Fade out. Door. Clowns. Key. Door. Who's my ending? Let's go. Ah oh, yes. God will guide me through. Well that worked out. Wow, I'm fast. Why well, am I so fast? And now I can jump. That's almost like it's a game out here. Can I jump into there, I wonder? Okay, then this is not an angle you were meant to get. I'm not even going to risk it. Let me go. Finally, I escaped the madness. And I'm so happy for you. I had to run as fast as I could without looking back. I reached my car and drove- wait a minute. So the car wasn't broken down, we just decided to get out and go into this asylum. Go as fast as I could. After a few hours I was in my cabin in the mountains. I needed a rest. I couldn't go to anyone for help. Who would believe me anyways? The ultimate prequel to Autumn Dream. And if this scroll ends on come closer, do you like my pretty face? I might throw myself against a wall. Let's find out. Nope. That's the end. Okay. Um. Really amazed how many times GD Nomad got it wrong. I think this is the worst one by far. I mean, the other games played like they were aping a horror game that was actually competent. This one, it was just jump scare after sound effect after jump scare, one on top of the other. Some doors just didn't work. You had to push up against them as you opened them. Otherwise, there would just be an invisible door in the way and you'd have to take damage to get through it. 
um, nothing redeemable about the game. Most of the assets were floating or incorrectly placed. Some stuff didn't even have proper brightness on it, so in dark, pitch black rooms would be extremely bright for no reason. So I think it was just a cobbled together mess. And yeah, not much else to say about it. So thanks for sitting through that with me guys. Greatly appreciate it. Appreciate all of you. Um, yeah. Hope you have a good one. Cheers.